In this video, we use a truth table to test the validity of the following argument. First premise, if P, then Q or not R. Second premise, if Q, then P and R. Conclusion, therefore, if P, then R. We know that when the premises of an argument are true, if the conclusion is true, the argument is valid, and if the conclusion is false, the argument is invalid. So, we'll set up a truth table to test the validity of this argument. The last column of the table is reserved for the conclusion, in this case, if P then R. The columns immediately preceding the conclusion column are reserved for the premises. There are two premises in our argument, so the heading for the first of these preceding columns is if P then Q or not R. And the heading for the second of these preceding columns is if Q, then P and R. To avoid inadvertently violating the order of operations, let's group Q or not R in this first premise and group P and R in the second premise. Now we're ready to fill in the headings for the columns that precede the premises. These columns represent the simpler statements we will need to determine the truth values for each premise. So working from left to right, we enter the column headings P, Q, R, not R, Q or not R, and P and R. In the first three columns, we use our typical pattern to set up the truth values for P, Q and R. Next, we complete the not R column. Then, we use the truth values in the first four columns to determine the truth values for the Q or not R column and the P and R column. Now we can determine the truth value of the premises. For the if P then Q or not R column, we have true, true, false, true, 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 true. And for the if Q then P and R column, we have true, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. To complete the truth table, we determine the truth values for the conclusion, if P then R. So for the last column, we have true, false, true, false, true, 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 true. Recall that when the premises of an argument are true, if the conclusion is true, the argument is valid, and if the conclusion is false, the argument is invalid. So we only consider the rows where all premises are true. The first row, the fourth row, the seventh row, and the eighth row. We note that the conclusion is true in the first, seventh, and eighth rows. So these rows are not a problem. However, since the fourth row shows that the given argument form has a false conclusion when both premises are true, the argument form is invalid.